artist Jeff Timmons. From the early show, Dave Price. Rashumba Williams. And our center square, Martin Moe. And your host, Tom Bergeron. Thank you, thank you, John. Welcome to a brand new week of uh, Hollywood Squares with Martin and the gang. And by the way, the best studio audience we've had all week so far, you guys. Was, it was sort of a, a tense, competitive moment uh, when we left you on Friday, and I'll give you the update in a moment, but first, let's welcome our contestants. Returning champion with $3,500 in cash, Stephanie Gentry. Welcome back, yeah, Steph. Good to see you. you. And in the exposition, Pomone Rami. Welcome back, Pomone. Thank you. Good to see thank you, you thank as you, well. Thank you. Each of our contestants had won a $1,000 game. We were about to start the tiebreaker game, also worth $1,000. So uh, we hadn't even gotten into that game. Stephanie, as you had won the previous game, you start Thank the tiebreaker game. I'll take Martin Mull, please. Martin Mull, all right. <laughs> the husbands of Julia Roberts and Anne Heche each have the same job. What is it? <laughs> well, I guess just nodding and saying, no, 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 darling, it's not you. It's, they're the crazy ones. <laughs> um, <laughs> or perhaps, <laughs> perhaps it's plastic surgeons. All right. I'm going to have to disagree. They're both cameramen. Oh. Circle gets the square there. Come on. Jackie Harry. Jackie Harry. All right, Jackie. Welcome back. Can you catch a cold just by going outside with wet hair? Well, well, it's, if it's wet from people sneezing on you, yeah. Okay, anyway, what was... <laughs> that was a little deep, huh? Yeah. I'm in a deep mood. That's lovely. Yeah. <laughs> no. I agree. It's a myth. Colds are caused by person-to-person -person virus, not just having wet hair. Gets the square. Stephanie? Rashamba Williams, please. Rashamba Williams, special correspondent on entertainment tonight. Welcome back. A New York police officer got in hot water for allowing the stars of Queer Eye for the Straight Guy to do something on the air. Do what? Play with his baton. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I know. Wear his uniform. I agree. Wear his uniform. That's right. Circle gets it. All right, Pamal. Dave Price for the block. Dave Price, weatherman on the early show. CBS Mornings from 7 to 9. Welcome, Dave. Great Good to, to see be you. here. In newspaper talk, what does an agony ant do? My mother's sister. <laughs> uh, actually, I'd like to apologize to my Aunt Rochelle right here before I answer that question. Um, checks, checks for misspellings. Okay. I disagree. Gives advice. It's uh, an advice column. It's like a Dear Abby or something. X gets that one. All right, Steph. Deborah Jo Rupp, please. Deborah Jo Rupp, Kitty Foreman on That 70s Show, Wednesdays at 8 on Fox. Hey, Deborah Jo. Hello. Allure Magazine's Guide to Etiquette says, if you do it at a wedding, it shouldn't take more than two minutes. <laughs> <laughs> what shouldn't? <laughs> <laughs> that would be a quickie with the best man. <laughs> um, okay, no, um, um, I think that would be a toast. For the block. I agree. It's the toast. It's yes, the Circle gets it. <laughs> All right, come on. Steve Sharippa for Steve the block. Steve Sharippa from The Sopranos <laughs> on HBO. Welcome back, Steve. George Carlin once had a routine about the seven words you can never say on television. Can we say any of them now? Not only can you say them, but on HBO you could do four of them. <laughs> <laughs> How's that? Uh, yes, the answer is yes. I agree. The answer is yes. Uh, X gets the block. All right, Steph. Please. Jeff Timmons from 98 Degrees, his debut solo CD, Whisper That Way, available on his website, jefftimmons.com. Welcome back, Jeff. 
What Thanks, group's man. followers are also called plain people? I'd have to say the Dixie Chicks, Tom. I'm gonna have to disagree. That would be the Amish. Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah. Close <laughs> circle. Yes, sir. All right, Pomone. Lou Rawls. Lou block. Rawls from the block. His new CD, Lou Rawls sings Sinatra in stores now. Welcome, Lou. Pleasure to have you here. Oh, you happen to have a copy there. All right. What, uh, what Oscar winner once used the name Russ LaRock and recorded a single called I Want to Be Like Marlon Brando? Tom Hanks. Okay. I disagree. Russell Crowe. X gets the square. Where will you go? Here we go, Kennedy for the five square win. Kennedy hosting game show network's friend or foe every day. Hey, Kennedy. Hi, Tab. The Associated Press reports that female inmates hate striped prison uniforms more than men. Mm. What is their biggest complaint? You know what it is, actually, and uh, this is going to sound like I'm making a joke, but I'm not. Um, it's the horizontal stripes. Every woman knows that horizontal stripes make you look whiter and heavier than you are. So if they don't want to be seen All in right. horizontal stripes. For the championship. I agree. That is exactly right. Yes, yeah, Circle gets the square and the win. Pavone, we're going to give you $1,000 in our thanks Thank for you. being here on Hollywood Square. It's great to meet Thank you. you. But Stephanie, you're still our champion. Thank you. Congratulations. When we come back, we're going into the bonus round right after this. Stick around. Promotional consideration furnished by the following. It's the best. play the bonus round up to now Steph we found out a bit about what the stars know here's where we find out how much you know about them all right Steph take a look over here at these nine keys one of them opens our blushing steamer trunk and what's in it this week John hey plan a big fat vacation because it's a Mediterranean cruise to the Greek Isle Costa Cruises, Europe's number one cruise line, offers you and a guest an Eastern Mediterranean cruise aboard the five-star Costa Classica. Experience the whitewashed beauty of the Greek Isles while cruising Italian style for seven nights from Costa Cruise Lines. It's a trip of a lifetime. All right, Stephanie, another shot of the cruise. You pick a square. I'll read a statement about that star. If you agree or disagree correctly, you've won the square. At the end of 30 seconds, for every square you've won, we take away a bad key, improving your chances of opening the trunk. 30 seconds on the clock. It starts ticking when you pick your first star. Kennedy. Once flew to New York just to attend a sale. Agree. Wrong. Blue. Next. Was taken into his music taken into space by the first African American astronaut. Disagree. Wrong. Next. Debra. Plays in a weekly all girls poker game. Agree. Wrong. Next. Roshemba. Her first real name, her real first name is Angie. Disagree. Right. Next. Martin. Was hit on the head with a beer bottle while performing. Agree. Right. Next. Dave. His parents had a TV commercial promoting him. Agree. Right. Next. Steve. Was once billed in a movie as Beef Jerky Number Two. Disagree. Wrong. Next. Jeff. Hosted the sixth annual Adult Video Awards in Vegas. Agree. Wrong. Uh, wrong. Next. Jacket. Played the king in a stage version of King and I. Agree. She got it at the buzzer. Give it to her, yeah. <laughs> so, so Jack A, you were the king in A King and I. That's right, that's what I tell people. There are no queens in this room, only kings, baby. Okay. Uh, all right. Wonderful. All right, Stephanie, you got four right in 30 seconds. Let's take four of the bad keys away. One of those five gets you on that Mediterranean cruise. I'm gonna go with this one. All right, good luck. Yeah, this is gonna be it. This, this is the second time you're gone for the cruise, yeah! right? Yeah, you got it! If you get to the bonus round again, you'll be playing for a safe okay. full of cash. We'll meet Stephanie's new challenger right after this. Stick around. Can I keep the keys? Don't touch that dial. We'll be right back. Emotional consideration furnished by the following. 
Welcome back to our little tic-tac-toe fest. Stephanie is basking in thoughts about a Mediterranean cruise, but she's got to uh, focus again because we have a new Mr. X hoping to take over the championship. Uh, please welcome Mark Kasperson. Hey, Mark, how are you? Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, too. Tell us a little bit about yourself. I am a film student in the L.A. area. I'm originally from Plymouth, Minnesota, and I had the opportunity to plant a tree with George Bush for the Ryan White AIDS Foundation. All right, very nice. Very nice. Mark, as you know, it's uh, best two out of three games of tic-tac-toe to become champion. Uh, be on the lookout for bluffs. Our stars occasionally will try to trip you up from time to time. All right. As the challenger, you get to start. Uh, Martin Mole, please. All right, first $1,000 game begins with our center square. True or false, Martin, you could be fined up to $150,000 in California if you do not let an employee cross-dress. In California, mm -hmm. right? Of course. <laughs> Only in California. Exactly. The state is basically high school with money. <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, yeah, I think it's sort of the, the very casual Friday bill. Um, and uh, J. Edgar Hoover was behind yeah, that. Yeah, he was. Uh, yeah, Miss J. Edgar Hoover. Um, oh! So you know what? You said California. I got to go, yeah. That's just, that's just stupid enough. Uh, I'll agree. It's, it's true. Yeah. It's true, yeah. X gets it. Steve Sharippa. All right, Steve. Steve, if you're a thief, are you more likely to steal a new car or an older one? Well, personally, I love that new colon, uh, stolen car smell. <laughs> yeah, I, uh, <laughs> I said colon smell. I know, I, I know you did. You notice how I let that one go, huh? <laughs> I love that colon smell. <laughs> Say an older car. An older. <laughs> an, an older, older, an older, older colon. An older <laughs> colon. I agree. An older car, 90% or 5 to 15 years old, easier to sell. Yeah. Gets that one. Oh. All right, Mark. Uh, Kennedy, please. Kennedy, okay, here we go. The shot heard round the world originally signified the start of what? The Robert Blake trial. Oh. oh, come on. I guys. thought it was funny. I liked it. <laughs> um, it was actually uh, the beginning of World War I when Archduke Ferdinand was assassinated. Okay. Mm. I disagree. The American Revolution is yes. what it started. X gets it. All right, Steph. We go Jack A. Harry for the block. Jack A. If you have a... Uh, if you have a short period three gene, what are you programmed to do in the morning? Take a pregnancy test. <laughs> I need to talk to you, Deborah Joe. Meet me in the dressing room, girl. I got, pro I got problems, Tom. Anyway, short period, did you <laughs> drink too much? Who was that laughing? Who was that? <laughs> drink too much um, um, orange juice. I disagree. No, you're, you're programmed to sleep in uh, oh. with that uh, gene there. Circle gets it. All right, Mark. Jeff Timmons for the block, please. All right, Jeff, here we go. Jeff, what's the, uh, what's the oldest that an active Boy Scout can be? Well, being I am still a scout myself, uh, <laughs> scout's honor, um, yeah. I would say there is no, I don't think there is an age limit, Tom. All right. I agree. No, 17 is the age limit. Can't give you that one, Stephanie. You have to earn it yourself. Jeff Timmons for the win. For the win and $1,000. <laughs> what kid's game uses a potsy and was originally used to train soldiers? Um, tetherball. Tetherball. I disagree. Hopscotch. You throw the potsy on the board that originated in the Roman Empire. Circle gets it. And the win. We're going to take a break, a secret square game when we come back right after this. Stick around. Secret square is... No.
now, you know. Defending champion Stephanie, you won the first game. You start. Martin Mull, please. All right, Martin, here we go. <laughs> On TV's Fantasy Island, Martin, Mr. Rourke and Tattoo helped everyone's dreams come true. Did they charge anything for the service? So I'm admitting now that I watched it, aren't I? Uh, <laughs> well, Mr. Rourke seemed like he had plenty of money, so I don't... Tattoo was always a little short. <laughs> <laughs> we can't all come up with smelling old colons. <laughs> Did they accept any money? I, I don't think so. No, I'm going to say no. I agree. No, they did fifty thousand dollars to have your fantasy be enacted. No. They sure did accept money. Yeah, X gets the square. That's Mark. rude. <laughs> Kennedy, please. Kennedy, all right, Kennedy. Where would you find? Where would you find a fox in socks and chicks with bricks? Mm, Tom, it sounds like the uh, naked barn dance I went to last weekend. Yeah, yeah, I've still got hay in places I can't mention on network television. <laughs> Um, on my niece's very favorite cartoon show, she watches it every day, Dora the Explorer. Okay. I will agree. In a Dr. Seuss book. Circle gets that square. Stephanie, break for you. I'll go with Rashumba Williams, please. Rashumba, okay. What commonly, what commonly advertises itself with the line, sorry boys, size does count. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, okay. Um, I would probably say, oh, I know, uh, the Ford Explorer. Okay. I agree. No, diamonds. No! Diamonds X gets the square. Break for you, Mark. Uh, Dave Price for the win, please. For the win and a tie game if you get it. All right. Okay, Dave, what TV personality was the first person in 85 years to be the editor of the Harvard Lampoon for two straight terms? See, Martin, you did it for a year. <laughs> Steve Sharepa edited the Colon Weekly. <laughs> oh, you guys! <laughs> uh, Tim Allen. Tim Allen. I agree. Conan O'Brien. Conan O'Brien circle gets a block. We're out of time. We're going to continue this game from this exact point when we join you on Hollywood Squares tomorrow. I'm Tom Bergeron. Until then, for all of our stars, have a great day. We'll see you on Hollywood Squares. Bye-bye. I'm John Macias.